Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel everyone. Today's video takes us to an Arby's restaurant located in Palm Bay, Florida. You heard that right folks, Arby's. Known for their roast beef sandwiches, world famous curly fries, and a small dash of despotism. Arby's, we have the tyrants. The first half of the video we will be watching comes from multiple Palm Bay officers body camera footage. I do want to make it clear before we get started, this arrest that we were about to watch didn't take place during a quote audit, but his reactions to the officer's arrival have all the makings of an audit. After we finish the arrest video, we will watch some follow up action where he goes full First Amendment auditor, making mistake after mistake. The first clip we will be watching is when the initial officers arrive on scene to investigate a possible battery. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe, get notified, like, and comment below. Let's jump right in. I have another officer over there with a guy. You don't have to go out there and um, point out, but... Okay, yep, that was... Blue uh, vehicle? Yeah, he's out there with... So him. he came in, he caused the rocket. He was mad because we didn't give him a refund on the food he ordered because we followed the standard. He slams down the tray and he takes the hand. The hot as you hits me right in the face. I'm standing behind the counter. So he got upset with, because of what? Because we wouldn't refund him. On his, or he didn't like the food or something? Said? No, he didn't like the au jus. Okay, you don't like au jus, so you, he, you didn't want to give him the refund, so he had a tray with it? Yep. And he slammed it on the counter? Yeah. Or did he go like this and throw it at you? He slammed the tray on the counter and then he took the food that was on the tray and he swiped his hand and he hit the whole thing and the whole food went all the way over there. Okay. Do you, anybody and else see it? They hit me. Oh, they all saw it. Okay. Do you have uh, cameras or We anything? don't have cameras, but I have all my witnesses. And if you want to talk to customers, who saw it? Who, uh. Is anybody here for that guy? Did you see him purposely? So he's telling me he slammed the tray because they didn't want to give him a refund for that. You saw it, so he slammed the tray on the counter and then he took he it and threw it. just took it and he threw it straight at his face. Straight at his face? This, like the same exact thing with Aju, went straight to his face, dude. So he, he purposely yeah. aimed it at his oh, face? Oh, yeah, for sure. We, like, purposely too. Yeah. Okay. There was a guy that was here and we were starting to move over to his side. Yeah. We need to curse me out. He cooked me off. Pretty purposely smacked it at, at his face. No, he was like this and he just slammed it. Towards him. As hard as he could. Hey, you hear me? Hey, so, um, did you make contact with him or no? I heard you said it's unoccupied, that vehicle. Um, I have witnesses over here in the manager city saying that uh, he didn't like the juice sauce, so he came up to the counter, he, um, wanted a refund, they wouldn't give him a refund, so he slammed the tray on the counter, and then after doing that, he took the whole tray with the juice sauce and purposely, um, threw, threw it at him, so, uh, pushed it towards him, and I... Did it, get on, did it get on your face? Yeah, it hit me right in the chin. Yeah, I'm on the chin, and Sausage there's witnesses here um, that said that they saw him purposely do that. Yep. Sorry, I don't know why it's connected to my Bluetooth. You there? Yeah, so based off of, he said he has surveillance footage, I didn't see it yet, but I'm just talking to the employees and the witnesses here that saw it. I said he purposely got upset and, and threw it toward him. You need a picture? Did you see which way he walked when he got out? Yeah, he walked into Wendy's. He walked into Wendy's. What does he look like? He's got, can I go over there with him? Um, he wants to know if he can come over there. We got the manager's of offering to come over there with us. You don't have a picture of him, do you? No, no, this, uh, this, you can just describe him, because he's over here. Jen, how would you describe that guy? He's got like a, something on what his What color dress. clothes is he? So, I want to say he's blue shirt. I, ha I saw a dark color shirt, kind of like army green, and then had like a brown. Army green shirt. And it was, I don't know the pattern thing, but that right. was the coloring. Right. Short t-shirt, long black pants. Short t-shirt, long black pants. Uh, I'll just uh, sneakers. Short. He's got like a scar on his neck. Hair. Brown hair. Like white guy? Short, yeah. white guy. White guy. Okay. Yeah, he's out there. Oh, okay. So yeah, a white male, with an army pattern shirt, and black pants. He's got like a scar on his neck. And he has a scar on his neck. After a few more minutes, the officer decides to walk the alleged victim next door to Wendy's to see if he can personally identify the alleged suspect. I 
You're saying you didn't do anything? So kind of just stay from the distance here. Come over on this side. Just kind of stay back. You can't see from here, can you? I saw the car from the other window. Is that him? You don't have to go inside. Is that him? That is him. That's him? Yeah. Okay. 264218, got confirmation for the show up. Ten more. Hey, hey, I'm cooperating. You're not you cooperating. See. Hey, you guys seeing this? Let's now switch to the arresting officer's point of view to see how this escalated so quickly. Alright, I just don't want to lose eyes on this car. It's me trying to make contact. I'll, I mean, I'll take a peek into Wendy's. If I see him, then I'll make contact. Okay. All right, Kiss my ass and I left. Okay. Uh, they're, they're alleging that you threw a tray. I threw a tray in the floor. Okay. I pushed, didn't mean to. I was just mad, pushed it forward. Like, you ain't gonna fix more? Fuck you then. Okay. So I left. Right. Just a So it is what it is. Alright. Um, apparently a hit. Ain't nobody trying to hit nobody, so. Why? Well, I, I guess it hit them during that incident or whatever. I, I don't know. They're getting ready to review video and, and all that. So. Do we stepped in a way? Okay. <laughs> so okay. Well, and, and we don't know. I wasn't I don't there, care. Man, right? I don't care. Right. Do you have ID with you? No, I don't. Okay. Unless I'm suspected of, suspected of committing a crime. No. You are suspected of committing okay. a battery. Are you? Do I have to show uh, ID or yes. be arrested? You have to show ID. You're being for what? detained. Am, am I under, You're under an investigation under a, for a battery under threat of arrest? You can go to jail. Am I going to be arrested if I don't show you my ID? Yes. Say it again. Yes. You're also on body cam. Same okay. thing. Okay. Just so you know, I am armed. Okay. All right. You have your firearm with you? you always. Don't you? Don't you? Huh? I don't yep. leave home without mine. Do you? Okay. Yep. I'm. Um, no, you look at it. Alright. You can look at it, buddy. Come on, man. Don't play this game. Stand up. Me. Here, take it. Hey, just come in here, please. Turn hey, around. and now, Turn now I'm getting my Fourth Amendment violated. Okay, put your phone down. No, my, leave my phone. Listen. Oh, okay. You definitely don't have hey, 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 signals. Hey, I'm on. cooperating. You are not you cooperating. Hey, you guys seeing this? Now you're going to jail for resisting. Well, I'm going to jail. I'm not resisting nothing, dude. Hey, you see this? I'm going to jail for resisting. Like, let's stop moving here, guys. Come on, I'm not resisting. No. Yes, sir. So put it in your pocket. Right there. Don't forget the Derringer in my front pocket. Is it? Is it hot? No, dude. Come on, man. Hey, listen. I'm when you give, when you listen, when he gives you orders, you listen. All right. No, dude. You're pulling away. I'm, and I'm I just saw trying to look at I, you, all right? All right, so Any watch. other weapons on you? Huh? Any other weapons? No. Okay. All right. 
You made this a lot harder than what it I'm had to I'm not trying okay. to, dude. I'm just trying to assert my rights. I, and I understand that. Okay. I'm giving you a lawful order, okay? So there's there's a difference between asserting your rights. I can promise you I'm not trying to violate your rights. I'm not trying to violate. I'm not trying right? to give you guys a hard time so, either. But when I'm giving you a... Listen, asshole, listen, I'm giving you a lawful command. Be quiet. Command. Listen. Was just Be quiet. Right? Listen. You're going to listen to me. All right. Okay? okay? Especially the fact that you're armed. Okay. All right? I stayed calm for that. Okay? okay? Good, good. But you started to amp yourself up. I'm not going to have somebody, listen, I understand that, but I'm not going to have someone that start getting amped up that I know is armed, okay? That's putting an officer safety risk to me, I can understand all right, that. as well as all these other customers, officer. okay? Security officer. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a walk out here, okay? Okay, we are going to once again switch back to the initial officer's point of view where he goes to gather statements from witnesses. The only portion we will watch is from the Arby's manager where it's going to show her statement being the exact same as the previous three witnesses we have already heard from. I felt this was important to watch because later in the video we will hear from the auditor claiming his constitutional rights were violated and that this was retaliatory because he's a quote constitutional first amendment auditor. So, my understanding, what did you see? You saw him come up to the counter, wanted a refund on the juice sauce for the items on the tray. You guys said no. Mm -hmm. And then he just pretty much just threw it and hit him in the face, in the chin? Yeah, he came, he came to me first. I talked to him. I explained okay. that we made it according to our menu, the prep right, guide, right. all right, that right, stuff. Right. You know, I said I can talk to the prep person, make sure that it was made correctly. And then he stormed off. He actually left the building. Okay. And then I, in that time, told Kyle what was going on. Mm -hmm. He then came back and was standing there. He saw me. I was working with, with, the, with the tray and the juice sauce? Yeah. He okay. was sitting there working other orders. Yeah, he had the tray with all juice sauce. So he told him no. He left and then came back. Yeah. With the stuff approached yeah. he approached him he approached yeah. him and then that's when he got mad and just yeah. cut the whole thing well whenever his house on mason there going back and forth with him and Kyle said i got it okay. so then i backed up and let Kyle take over and that's when that escalated and the guy said Kyle said look i'm not giving you a refund you know in right. fact you can just leave my store that's what you can do and the guy threw the tray out of him. and it hit him in the chin yeah. sorry okay yeah. uh the only the juice sauce or the tray also um, the, I saw the tray hit him. You know, okay, the, so the tray. You had, the tray had so the tray and the juice? Yeah. Yeah. So after taking sworn testimony from the remaining witnesses, the suspect was booked and charged with battery and resisting arrest, both first degree misdemeanors. He was released that very same day on a $1,000 total bond amount. On August 7th, he filed for and was granted a public defender to help him represent him in this case. However, months later on October 17th, he requested and was granted the opportunity to represent himself in the matter, something that is typically ill-advised. The next few clips we are about to watch will help bolster that claim. Well, here we are. At the Brevard County fucking House of Treason. You know, this is the, yeah, the Vieira Courthouse, but here on Fran Jameson Way. Over here across the street there, you see that big, beautiful, expensive building that tax dollars paid for? Yeah, that's the sheriff and the prosecutor. For some context, with the auditor now representing himself, he attempts to submit trial evidence directly to the prosecutor? It, for obvious reasons, doesn't go very well for him. How you doing today, man? Um, yesterday I was here. I left uh, some paperwork sitting on the seat uh, on accident, but uh, I was trying to turn in some video footage, and they wouldn't accept it. So I figured I'd try again. Say again. Uh, they had this sat lady in a in a pink shirt. My name is Bill. Say again? No, I'm I'm the the defendant. I'm representing myself in the case. I have to turn in this video evidence. So the evidence he's trying to turn into the prosecutor is almost three hours of body camera footage he obtained from the Palm Bay, Florida Police Department. The same body camera footage we saw earlier showing four different witnesses all giving sworn testimony on what they saw. Yes, I'm the defendant. Yeah, they came out here, but they blocked me from turning in this video. Well, I just like to talk to a prosecutor if I can. I mean, this this has to. I have to give this to somebody. Then I got to go across the street and tell the judge that they wouldn't accept my video. This is, of course, where he's making the mistake. 
What he should be doing is filing a motion to submit evidence with the court, not just handing over random jump drives to the prosecutor. There are proper procedures and rules in place for a reason. The prosecutors here have no idea what's on these videos or if they are even admissible. This is why you always record everything. I wish I had a video camera when inside that restaurant or we would be going through this. One good thing though is they violated the hell out of my civil rights, so I get to sue the hell out of everybody. So, according to our constitutional First Amendment auditor, all four independent witnesses the officer spoke to are apparently lying. Speaking of lying, it wouldn't be a proper First Amendment auditing video without the fake threat of a lawsuit. How are you doing? What are you doing for you? I'm trying to turn in video evidence. And you are? I am Billy. Okay. And are you a defendant? I am the or defendant. A, okay. And I'm also representing myself. Okay. There's a procedure that you have to go to return that in. We can't just take it. I can't email it. I have no computer access. None of that. I don't know how to compress a file. None of that. Don't feel, it, don't look, feel alone. That's, that's why I'm videoing this. You know video what I'm saying? What? Because. Video on what? Video in my interaction right now. No, I'm allowed to be in here. We're done. We're done? I'm not going to talk to you. I'm You're not going to talk to me. Shut that off. I'm not. That's, this is proof that I've tried to turn in this video evidence to the prosecutor to defend myself. I'm being denied my Fifth Amendment at this point. I have just a few questions. Is he currently being compelled to be a witness against himself? Is he being deprived life, liberty, or property without due process? Is he being prosecuted for the same offense a second time? No, none of those, then he's probably not being denied his Fifth Amendment. Next up, he's about to go on a pretty epic rant. I'm telling you right now, that is not the proper procedure. It doesn't matter. I'm protecting myself. I've learned that this is the only way to protect yourself. So you're going to deny me to be and my ability to turn in my, my evidence that supports my innocence. Freaking tyranny at its finest. That's why the public don't like you. That's why the American public hates you. In my faith in God, when America and our politicians have turned their back on us. They turned their back on God too. You got Satanists on Capitol Hill pushing child and freaking slavery, letting people just flood the country with a clown like Biden running everything. And all I want to do is turn in my video evidence. See, this is why I started my YouTube page, people. You know, and became a constitutional auditor. And now I'm sitting in a prosecutor's office trying to defend myself and turn in video evidence. I can't wait to post this video to YouTube. This is going to be epic. Epic. It's going to be a beautiful lawsuit, too. You know, especially having these police officers on film violating my First Amendment, my Second Amendment, my Fifth Amendment, and my Fourth Amendment right. It is, a, it is craziness that we live in a country that's supposed to be free, but freedom is an illusion. So let's quickly break down all of these alleged rights violations. For the First Amendment, is he arguing he has a right to throw a tray with 140 degree au jus sauce at a person? Maybe he thinks that's an expressive activity? They never denied him the right to speak, practice his religion, assemble, his right to free press, or even his right to petition his government. As for his Second Amendment, they removed his firearm when he was arrested and taken to jail. Is he trying to argue that by removing his firearms before being arrested and putting into the back of a cop car and going to jail is somehow a Second Amendment violation? If so, that'd be a hell of an argument to witness. As for his Fourth Amendment, he was suspected of committing a crime, in this case, battery. The officer has every right to identify him at this point. And of course, we already covered the Fifth Amendment earlier. And I gotta tell you, I'm still not seeing the making of a lawsuit quite yet. I hope to see more constitutional auditors out here posting videos of these tyrannical people. You know, I just wanted to turn in this video evidence, but it's apparent that I'm not going to get to. So I'm making this video so that I can show it to the judge and their continuous attempts to block me from turning in evidence. Later in the day on a completely separate video, he does finally go to the court where he is instructed on the proper procedures for submitting evidence. Did he apologize or admit a mistake? Nah, of course not.
I mean, no matter how this case goes, we've always got the Supreme Court, right? And when you bring constitutional law video evidence of constitutional violations by our law enforcement, I mean, there's no denying that video don't lie, right? Especially when <laughs> you got them on film pulling my camera right out of my hand, not even reading me my rights, relieving me my weapons, taking me to jail on false charges. I mean, wow, wow. People keep up the good fight. No matter what you do, fight. Fight every unconstitutional, tyrannical law out there. Anybody operating under color of law who violates the Constitution is guilty of treason. So this was only a snippet of his monologue after leaving the prosecutor's office. I couldn't include most of it because it turned a lot more violent. When I initially began watching First Amendment auditing videos and creating my own, I originally believed that the only true victims in these videos were the low-level employees who are typically the focus. However, as I continued, I noticed a pattern of always claiming rights violations, and I found this constant assertion begin to cheapen the significance of true rights violations that may occur undermining the credibility of legitimate concerns. This individual, having watched hundreds of auditing videos all asserting similar rights violations, now perceives his own rights as infringed. By believing everything he sees from these fake activists, he has reached a point where he thinks he can even represent himself in court while confronting two first-degree misdemeanors, when it's clear from this very video he's not equipped for that at all. I now believe that not only are the low-level employees who have very minimal, if any, power, the victims in many of these videos, but some of their subscribers can now be categorized as such. Anyway, I think that's where we'll end today's video. I've made a notation to follow this case through, so as soon as there is a resolution, I'll make sure everyone is updated. Until then, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. This is Dummy Kruger, and I'll see you guys on the next video.